we went out in the market and picked a couple of challenges that the smaller farmers are facing. The one thing that comes out strongly is most farmers, they don't know why they farm why, what they farm. Beyond just knowing what they need to farm, the quality of input that farmers get today is substandard. Insurance is also an issue. Uh, when farmers go out in the farm and they plant, in the event there's an issue that comes up, then farmers also struggle you know, to recover some of the input or the effort they are put in the market. <laughs> Kwanza samani nilikuwa na shinda kama ya kupata farm input. Hii mandawa, fertilizer, borea nilikuwa na shinda kubwa sana. Nilikuwa naenda hasara mingi sana. Kwa hiyo kulima juma sawa mingi nilikuwa na potesa. Nilikuwa nimeituza vizuri. Nisure ilikuwa na mborea. Mimi nikipanda kama ni 1 kg of fine beans. Hiyo hiyo production yote nilikuwa napata 150 kg sama 130. Our vision is to build one platform that allows a farmer to access anything that they would want to produce better uh, from it. The vision that we have is actually to come and give that smallholder farmer some quality seeds that have been certified and that we believe can do well in that region. And once we give you that seed, the next thing is also to provide you with access to the other uh, ingredients that you need to produce that crop. So could it be fertilizer, could it be pesticides, anything that you need will also be in a position to provide to you as a farmer. One of the key things that we are hoping to do is in the platform called Digifarm is a farmer will come into the platform and say on a particular day they are planted this type of a crop. And immediately we see a trigger of what I'm calling a lesson or a tutorial that from day one the farmer will be able to know what they're supposed to be doing and that information now will be available to work with you from the day you planted up to the time of harvest and that is what we are calling the e-extension services that is going to be offered on our platform through uh, the normal sms where farmers can interact with the platform to learn what they want to do kupitia kwa ndigi kwa ndigi farm nikuwa sina pesa naenda pare kwa depo machukua tu wananipea run after one month, I will pay you a lot fertilizer, I will fertilizer, I will pay you a lot of fertilizer, I will pay you a lot of the neighbors, I will pay you a lot of money. If you have a lot of farmers, I will pay you a lot of money. I will pay you a lot of money. I will pay you a lot of money. If you go to the factory, I will pay you a lot of money. I will pay you a lot of money. I will pay you a lot of money. Do no intermediate so wegi. Whatever than the results in the video results only to a bit cheap. What we are asking ourselves as a Faricom is how can we leverage on technology to actually overcome some of these uh, challenges. The vision of the purpose that we have is to build what we're calling a social uh, economic business model where we impacting the fabric or the social fabric of the country uh, with a view of enhancing their lives. Hata napata pesa ya kulipa school fee sasa. Hata watoto wangu before walikuwa wanaenda primary school in government. Hata sasa hivi wanaenda private school. At the same time we also want to use technology to see whether we can create a business model that can actually generate income for the shareholders. Are we making our, far the, our farmer a profitable farmer? In the process we believe Revenue will come, we believe uh, profitability will come, but if we focus on revenue and the profitability, we miss the reason why we are doing this, which is to make the smallholder farmer a profitable farmer.